we're asked to add the rational expressions and also state the domain. Looking at the sum of the fractions, notice how we do not have a common denominator. So for the first step, we'll determine the least common denominator by looking at the factors of 12x squared and the factors of 15x. The prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three. So we'll write 12x squared as two times two times three times x times x. And then for 15x, because the prime factorization of 15 is three times five, we'll write 15x as three times five times x. And now let's build the least common denominator. To begin, the least common denominator must contain all of the factors of the first denominator and therefore the LCD must contain two factors of two, a factor of three, and two factors of x. And now looking at the second denominator, let's see if any of these factors are missing from the LCD. Notice we already have a factor of three, we also have a factor of x, but we don't have a factor of five listed in the LCD, which means we need a factor of five in the LCD. Notice now all the factors of both denominators are listed in the LCD. So this product is the least common denominator. Well, two times two times three times five is equal to 60, and therefore the LCD is 60x squared. So the next step, we'll write both fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of 60x squared. So to begin, we have five y divided by 12x squared plus two y divided by 15x. Looking at the first fraction, to write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 60x squared, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by five because 12x squared times five is 60x squared. Now looking at the second fraction, to write an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 60x squared, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by four x because 15x times 4x equals 60x squared. Notice now both denominators are 60x squared. So now we can add the numerators. Here we have 25y plus, this would be 8xy. Now that we have the sum, we need to see if this rational expression simplifies by factoring both the numerator and denominator and see if there are any common factors. Looking at the numerator, notice how both terms contain a factor of y. We factor out y, we're left with 25 plus 8x. We'll leave the denominator as 60x squared. Notice how in factored form, there are no common factors between the numerator and denominator, and therefore we can express the rational expression in either of these two forms. But we also need to state the domain. So we begin with all real numbers, and exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero. Looking at the denominator, notice how the denominator is equal to zero when x equals zero, which means the domain is all real numbers except zero, which we often indicate by just saying x can't equal zero. I hope you found this helpful.